This week, the Colorado Springs Business Journal talked to downtown business owners and asked them how after-hours violence has affected the business climate and what should be done about it. I have a couple uh, answers there. First, as a resident of Colorado Springs, I'm not happy with the violence downtown. Um, I haven't noticed as a shopkeeper, as a business owner, a, a real difference since the, the recent uh, uh, news on Bikes Peak. But um, yeah, I would say I don't like the violence. One of the reasons that I wanted to uh, locate mm -hmm. this block is because of the bar block being a little more violent. I was looking at some uh, vacancies there this summer and right. there were broken windows everywhere and I didn't right. want to have to deal with that on a weekly basis in my shop. So um, right. I wanted to be a little further north of uh, what I see as a more uh, volatile area. I'm sure everybody's following the news about what's going on downtown and uh, to be honest with you, when I first started I, uh, I used to open late night for the bar crowd but the amount of trouble that you can face at, in the late hours is to be honest with you, it's not worth mm. opening that house. I don't know, there's a lot of police all the time. There's a lot of, you know, officers that come in, they ask if we're doing okay, if we need any help, and we really appreciate that from the police department. But, yeah. You know, there's almost a police car in every alley in downtown. And once there's a problem or something, you'll see a lot of police cars pulling out in, in a minute mm. or two, so. So it's not presence that's the issue. Then. Oh, there's a lot of police presence, mm -hmm. but I think after people get really drunk, it's, it's really hard to control in a, in a tiny downtown. We had, we had problems cleaning up the sidewalk uh, in the mornings a okay. lot. Sure. Uh, multiple times in a given week. Sure. Uh, and you said either blood or even vomit, you know, blood? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, you okay. never knew what you were going to have to clean up and none of it was pleasant. Uh, I sure don't have the cure for that. I wish I did. Yeah. I probably wouldn't be in the jewelry business if I had the cure for that. Right. <laughs> I'd be a lot smarter at doing, doing okay. something, something else. Because we're not downtown with the violence. You're not really we, affected by we it. We make sure that we, you know, we, we get out of here before 6 o'clock or that kind of thing. Most of it removed from us. Daytime mm -hmm. downtown is pretty safe. Mm -hmm. They don't say open. One of, that's one of the reasons. Yep. That and the fact that beer and cookies just don't seem to go together. <laughs>